22 boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to the dark woods. It's trick or treat on deal or no deal. spirit it has two eyes behind one eye there's a treat behind one eye there's a trick so far the treat worked well for Debs it changed her game and for Christopher it changed his life one hundred thousand pounds <laughs> he let go now Now, hopefully, no nasty tricks from the banker. Just a unique treat for you. Betty. Rosen, better known as Hetty. Now, it says retired council worker, and then it says in your file here, you only retired two years ago. That's right. At the age of 78, you decided to stop working for the local authority. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing that you did for a long time was get married. My husband and I were married 50 years. Wonderful, congratulations. Um, you. But you lost money when? I lost, we had our golden wedding in the May and he died in the following February. But that was six years ago, and since then, I've been on my own. Let's have a look at the pictures here. Oh, can, oh, can we start with this one? This is can brilliant. Start with one. Can we start with this one? Yes, that was in 1953. So, who was your maid of honour? My, that was my baby sister. She was my bridesmaid. What's her name? Well, her name was Doris. Have we lost Doris? We've lost Doris, oh. yes. My sister died. Three and a half years ago. Oh, pretty. Beautiful picture. I was ten years older than her. And that was my husband, myself and my sister on our golden wedding. That is fantastic. So are we talking about the same people? We are. Wow. And how many years between those two pictures? Fifty years. Fifty years. Lovely. And who have you brought here? I brought my cousin. We're very close. Um, Hi. Hello. Still. We have wonderful holidays together. Yeah. We're going on holiday as soon as we've got the money. Right, so that's why you're here. Yeah. Okay, well, let's be very upfront about this. It's a, it's a money game, so you're here Absolutely. to have a, an, another nice holiday sponsor. Absolutely. Well, we know that if you can find the treat, which has happened twice so far, there's a holiday in that mouth over there. That'd be fabulous. So this could be a fantastic game. A little bit of cash. Nice holiday courtesy of icelolly.com. Everything's done and dusted. Fantastic. Well, I think we'll crack on and do that, shall we? We do. Okay. Um, I need you please to confirm that you chose that Moscow <laughs> covered box number four at random before your game began. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all of our boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. This is going to be a cracker. I know it is. <laughs> it's going to be a real treat. Hetty, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to start with family birthday numbers. Good idea. And I will go with Sadie number six. Yes. Because it's my granddaughter's birthday. Sadie, away you go. Patty, you're wonderful. I'm going to miss you. Number nine, because that was my dad's birthday. Thank you, Millie. Didn't like that one, Millie. Never mind, Millie. You may look gorgeous, but that was horrible. Paul, number ten. Please, it's my husband's birthday. Thank you, Paul. Come to some ten, please. Love you a bit, darling. response to the 75,000, I would say. Excellent response. Jolly good. Can you go to Lower? Uh, I should, I hope. Number 12, which is my birthday, Marianne, please. Marianne. <laughs> That's good as well. Number 22, Jess, please. Death box. It's got to come or go at some point. So better now. All right, Jess. Something nice, please. Good luck, Hetty. I'm really going to miss you. Thank you. Something very nice for both of us, please. Yes, thank you. Oh, that's very, very nice. Oh, lovely little hole in the bank of Tower 5. Hetty, what a sumptuous start. You've had a little nick in your Power 5. You've blown a great big hole in his and there's something inconsequential in the middle there. Ah, hello, banker. Oh, uh, oh, listen, bless him, bless him. That was a hundred thousand yesterday. Oh, bless, calm down. Don't, don't you make the ink on your checkbook run. All your lovely money. Hattie's here. She... Oh, well, she's very feisty, yeah, she's keeping me in line. Oh, he thinks that um, you like to control your men. And so, he's quite prepared to roll over and let you take control of this game. Hetty, you may swap your box. If there's another box that you would rather have on the table, he's giving you the chance to bring it to the table. Thank you very much, Mr. Banker. But I don't swap. I stick with what I've got. Right, I'll, I'll, uh, very good. I'll officially ask you the question. Hetty, swap or no swap? No swap. Thank you, Hetty. <laughs> we know that number four is staying on the table. So on we go then, in that case. Marcel, number 17, please. <laughs> Don't you start laughing at me. You should look in the mirror yourself, mate. <laughs> All right, Marcel. Good luck, darling. Oh! 50 grand, Hessie. Got to find the 1p now, haven't I? John. Okay, John, thank you. Good luck, Hattie. 5,000. Yes, okay. Well, Hattie, I've got a compelling reason why people should come back to your game. Would you like to hear it? Yes, I would. Good. Come over here. You see, this is the tree spirit. And... There are two eyes, a red eye and a green eye. Behind one is a trick, behind one is a treat. And if Hetty performs as well as the two preceding players this week, she will find the treat. Not only can she play on one box at a time, but she would get a holiday. And this is the queen of the holidays. Any excuse to go traveling, Hetty does it. And you wouldn't look a gift holiday in the mouth, would you? See you shortly. Sex. Which 
whisper it, whisper it, she's 80 years old. Right then, one to go. I think I'm going to ask for Pat. Pat? Yes. Monosyllabic Pat. Yes. Ever since she got her cold, she hardly talks to me. Actually, I think it was the revelation that she only got married because her maiden name was Hussey. Again. <laughs> done it again. What have I done again? <laughs> Sorry, am I not supposed to mention that from your file? Not over and over again. <laughs> Sorry, Pat. <laughs> Do you like the way I have the unique bonding with people? <laughs> I really make them at their ease. By the time they leave here, they're all personal friends of mine. They love me for the way I dress them. <laughs> oh, come on, Pat. Yeah. This could be a good one. Good luck, Pat. Yeah! Yeah, good, another blue. That's looking very nice. Six blues. I like that very much, Hottie. Eight reds, six blues. Got the two biggest in play. I think he's worried about you. Hello. Yeah, that was quite cool, that, actually. You started at 50,000 and just knocked a naught off each, each box. Yeah. Mm. You were playing with a naught. He's giving you three noughts back. But with a nine in front, your box is worth 9,000. <laughs> Up there, you could have a great holiday with nine grand. But that's only one holiday, and we want a holiday during the year. You've had enough of the weather, haven't you? I have. You're hoping to get enough money out of this game to at least get yourself a little bit of a trip to Mallorca. I like Mallorca very much. Do you like Mallorca? I do. Yeah. Well, what, what do you like about Mallorca? Is it the clubbing? Every night, every, every night, night yeah. the clubbing in New York, especially Magaluf. Terrible. Now, can I ask you a question? I love it, I love it. it. 9,000 pounds, deal or no deal? Thank you very much, but no deal. Right, let's get it. Number three. I promised myself I'd be good now, and now. Yes. And I won't, I won't laugh at all. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it is the worst laugh. Not long in those. No, no, no. Right. <laughs> oh, you're right. such a sport. You're such a sport. We were thinking of putting a false nose on it, but in the end... <laughs> <laughs> oh, the nose is real, the warp's not. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hetty, I wish you the very best of luck. You're so sweet. Thank you, darling. Really done that, Hetty. You had 50,000, 5,000, 550. Where do you fancy going now? I think I'll go to Benita, number five. Benita. You're adorable. All the best. Oh. Funny way of showing affection. That well, is... Don't worry, darling. So, you know the way back from that? Somebody will come to your throne and give you a kiss. <gasps> Brian. It's Brian. Brian, you'd say me, Eddie. Because I love him. You love Brian? Yes. I want that kiss. Well, a hooter like that is going to be one heck of a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get by. You know why there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, you'll find a way. <laughs> <laughs>
She's keen enough, Brian. She'll get in there one way or another. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Eddie, my neighbour, my friend, and with any luck after today, my new sugar mommy. to know if it was good for you. Fabulous. <laughs> oh, this show gets more and more bizarre, doesn't it? What a sight that was. Hello. <laughs> okay, you evened out the board. Top and the bottom, he sticks at 9,000. a quarter of a million. He normally halves people. To get it sticking is a bit of a result. <laughs> <laughs> Alright? Follow the plot. <laughs> that was a very kind offer. Very generous. But not enough to take me where I want to go. Does that mean you want the question? Yes, please don't. Alright. Hetty, £9,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much. No deal. Thank you, Etty. <laughs> Let's see it improve immeasurably now as the next round consists of boxes from 3,000 downwards, Etty. Um, I think I'll go to number 13, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Gorgeous, Hetty. I hope this is a blue for you. I really hope it's a blue for you. Yeah. Right, how are you feeling about this? We are going to take a little bit of a break. I'm feeling very hot. You're feeling hot? Oh, we'll give you a rub down in the break. <laughs> Yeah, some iced water and a few towels and that sort of thing. Now, Hetty, you are absolutely determined to open that banker's wallet, aren't you? I hope so. And take a huge sum of money so you can spend the rest of your days travelling, holidaying and drinking cups of tea in nightclubs. <laughs> <laughs> what a lifestyle! And it could be hers right after the break. See you soon. is in the chair and you've got one to go before that man comes on the phone again um, I think I'll go to my friend Christine number 16 please oh lovely Christine the lovely Etty okay here we go I hope it's a blue darling oh, oh, it was such oh, a lovely oh, healthy oh, block oh, oh, oh. I'm just still there. I'm just still there. Still feeling optimistic? Are you? Yeah, good, good. She's still optimistic. Don't go to Firefox. Oh. Yeah, it says don't go to Firefox. It's not worth it. All that trick or treating thing or whatever. Get out now. He's sticking again. Nine grand. I'm 
just like in Megaloof. <laughs> if you go on to the five box, there's a holiday there anyway. Yeah? yeah? Well, only if you find the right eye. If you find the right one. If or not, the left eye. you've still got some nice ones in play there, Hetty. Come on. Oh, that. Honestly, that look you give me, Hetty, makes me quite nervous. Would you like the question? Yes. £9,000 again. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr. Banker, again, but no deal. On we go. Come on, Hetty, we're going to five box. It'd be fantastic still to have the 100,000 to shoot at if you find the treat. Faddy, number 19. Now, Faddy, there's always a very nice tribute from you, but that is quite often followed by something totally disgusting popping out of the box. Could you behave, please, and produce a very nice result? Hetty, hopefully, 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 it will be a blue. Oh, sweet Not to worry. I'm so I'll sorry. I picked the box. Oh, Hetty, you've got to get a grip on this one. You've got to get going, haven't I? Yeah, this could be a most uncomfortable five box. Number 21, Joan. You've been the loveliest person to have around. I, I mean that. You're, it's been a pleasure having you here. I hope this is a blue for you. I mean, if you could find 10p, I've looked pretty, yeah. doesn't it? All that red. Faye. Faye, number Faye 11. 11. Has to be said, this would be sensational if she can find 10p. Can you do that for us, Faye? Hope so. Good luck, Granny. We have here the tree spirit. If you can find the treat, you know how vital it is in gameplay terms. You can go forward one box at a time. You get an offer after every single box. And there's a holiday. And the queen of holidays would like that, wouldn't she? She would, she would. But find the trick, and it would actually be the bankers achieved the opportunity of looking in the box. That's what he does. The only good side is that it doesn't always throw the advantage of the game to him. And you get the swap at the end of the game. So which is it going to be? Green or red? Everybody has been right so far. Let's go green. Go green. Go green. Come on, yes! Right, here. Go green. And hopefully it is green for go in terms of your chances of dominating the game. Here we go. Oh, uh, just show you. Uh, actually, here we go. The treat was there. Hetty, the tree spirit's son, will now come and remove your box and take it to the banker's lair. He will remove the seal. He will look at the contents. So the next offer is really crucial for both of you. He's got to get it right, and you've got to break it down, understand it, and see if there's a message in the offer. You are guaranteed the swap at the end of the game. That's the great thing about this. So it's not all over. It hasn't thrown the advantage into the banker's lap. Now, Prove that he has eyeballed your box. The seal has been resealed with an eyeball. Thank you, Tree. <laughs> the banker has looked in the box. He knows what you chose at brand. That's he. He's saying, I will be honest with you, you have a thousand pounds in your box. Thank you very much. So, Jim.
genuinely, you have a thousand pounds in your box, but he thinks you're a very lovely lady, so he's going to give you three thousand pounds for it. Bless him. <laughs> Thank you very much. He's very kind. If he's telling the truth, he's seen a thousand. Why on earth would he want to buy it for three thousand? Does that make sense? What do you think, Brian? He's not going to offer you three thousand pounds for a one thousand pound box. He's frankly, he's not that nice a man, Hetty, as you know it well yourself. Um, even three grand is, is a pretty good offer. It makes me think it's possibly in the top three. And you know that the bank has got no art, Eddie. Well, he might have a heart, but it's not a very nice one, is it? <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Somehow the way you dressed gave that extra punch to, to, to your insult. Hello. That hurt him, you <laughs> ugly old crone. <laughs> Fifteen all. Uh, that cut you deep, did it? Ah, oh, have you had a little conscience moment? Ah, oh. oh. Etty, he lied to you. You don't have a thousand pounds. You've got twenty thousand. He lied, so he's now going to offer you eight and a half thousand. <laughs> What is going on here? Hetty, go on. Go on. Go on. Go all the way. You, you've got another three boxes to pull out. Go all the way. Your manager has spoken. <laughs> all right, Hetty. Yes. Ready for it? Uh -huh. Eight and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal. Thank you, Mr. Banker. No deal. Heavily by Estelle. On she goes. Which three? Number two, Hitch. All right, Hitch. Now, this is going to be fascinating, isn't it? He maintains 20,000 is on the table. What you got there, Hitch? Away you go. The table. Eddie, I hope this, this is the lowest of the reds. Good luck. That would prove he lied the first time. 10,000 didn't tell us a thing. <laughs> Doesn't tell us a thing at all, that. Next one. Um, number 18, Cat. Cat, this is the box that will tell us what's going on in this round. Thank you. Good luck, Eddie. And boy, oh boy, does it have a story. He lied. He lied. He lied. He offered you eight and a half thousand on a lie. Can't trust him. Hetty, that is an astonishing revelation. So was he telling the truth the first time? Do you only have a thousand in that box? You've got one more to go. Fifteen. Fifteen. And you're here, Sean, at a really crucial moment. If you've got 15 in 15, it's a comprehensive disaster for Hetty. Sean, open the box. Good luck, Hetty. Wouldn't it be great if it was a thousand and you proved he lied both times? Yes! B -b banker <laughs> he lied in both scenarios he presented to us how do you sleep at night yes you lied both times he's going okay so what gameplay oh this time he's going to tell us the truth <laughs> come on then Hetty, he is saying that he definitely, honestly is telling the truth. There is 15,000 in your box. He is not offering you any money. You had it at the beginning of your game, the swap. You guaranteed the swap because you found the trick. And he's saying, go on Hetty, if you swap the box, you will give 15,000 pounds away. 
because it's sitting there on the table. But it's the game play, Hetty, that the third time he's telling the truth. Or is he going for a hat trick of lies? Whatever it will be, will be. It's more than my year's pension from the council, the government. <laughs> I get 3,000 from them. So whatever it is, I can have a holiday. Might not be able to go to five star luxury, but me and Esther will be able to go to Magaluf. <laughs> Here comes the question. Etty, swap or no swap? No swap. Wow. No swap. Can you believe that? She believes the banker. Here we go. Oh. Hello. He's laughing, laughing like mad. You've got a horrible admission to make. Etty, you're about to have a terrible disappointment, the banker says. I wish you could hear the tone of the voice and I'll try and capture it. I tell you what, Hetty, I'm terribly sorry. You do have £3,000 in front of you and I shall offer you the swap again. Thank you, Mr. Banker. Hang on, I've got to ask you the question. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, he's giving you a chance to change your mind. Etty, swap or no swap? Thank you, Mr. Banker. No swap. <laughs> and there was a very telling thing in the middle of that, and the banker tried to unsettle you, but you did actually drop in that expression, what will be, will be. And I think maybe the feeling that you chose the box at random and you'd carry it to the end of the game is more powerful than any banker lies. Is that true? I chose the box. That's my destiny number four. Here we go then. The banker has lied and lied and lied and lied. Have we actually got to the point where he was telling the truth and he gave you the opportunity to do something about it and bring £15,000 to the table? Or actually, has he been totally consistent? The truth of the matter is, 15,000 was here all along. And that, that's a big holiday. Do you want to sit back down again, Hattie? Uh, take the excitement off your feet? No, stay here, Estelle, for goodness sake. Well, we've got two of them. Swine on the phone. Swine over there. Would you complete the game, please? Three grammars over there. What a life. That is fantastic. 15 grand, what's he going to do for you and Estelle? We're going on holiday. Going on holiday? Yes. Going on holiday. We're going to Vegas. You're going to Vegas! <laughs> it's the only time I'd ever feel sorry for Vegas. <laughs> She's on her way. I'm so pleased. Hattie, you've been absolutely wonderful. I hope you and Estelle have a wonderful time in Vegas. And I'm so pleased. You resisted that nasty, lying, bum, 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 15,000 pounds, Eddie. Oh, yes. That is a great result, bearing in mind the banker thought he got a great result over there. First time in memory that he actually managed the trick. And his game play backfired. Because a lady of certain years not drawn into the deceit. Brilliant stuff. Join us in the dark woods again tomorrow.
I can promise you another one.